Hey, it's Garrett. If, thanks for checking out this video. If you've ever bought into the fact that addiction, if you've ever thought that addiction is just a matter of being weak-minded or lacking willpower, let me tell you, that's a bunch of crap and that's an enormous myth that just perpetuates so much judgment and fuels people with so much anger and so much shame when it comes to this topic of addiction. And here's how I know that it's not an issue of being weak-minded or lacking willpower. There are a, a tremendous number of people who are wildly successful in different areas of their life who struggle every day with severe addictions. It's not a matter of them being weak-minded and not being able to just power their way through the addiction and get rid of their addiction with a matter of willpower because other places in their life, they show so much willpower. They, they can experience and create so much success, whether it's in their personal life, their professional life, other areas where successes show up. There's so many people that are tremendously successful and yet they don't have what it takes to move beyond the, the chains of addiction that are, been, that are holding them back. Here's something that's true though. All addictions are born in pain. All addictions, all the behaviors and the substances that people seek that become addicted to, these are all ways of dealing with an internal pain uh, and frustration or sadness or something that's not being fulfilled. So that's what's true about addiction. And for people that are successful in other areas of life, people that have a tremendous amount of success but still struggle with addiction, it's because of the tremendous amount of pain that they're in. It's not because they just are too weak-minded or lack the willpower to move forward. One thing that's fueled by that lack so addictions are born in pain but they're fueled by a lack of meaning a lack of connection one of the biggest things that successful people struggle with who also struggle with addiction is having a lack of meaning and purpose in their life their things that they're engaged in aren't filling up that meaning and that purpose that they have and because of that they don't get a chance to fill that spiritual, that emotional, that, that, that cup that they have, that, that find that sense of fulfillment, fill that void because of the work that they're doing. Many of us fall into this trap. I personally fell into this trap earlier in, in my life and earlier in my recovery where the things that I was engaged in, the places that I was finding a lot of the successes, the places that I was pursuing and, and having achievements in my life, they weren't in alignment with my true sense of purpose. They didn't really fill up that sense of meaning that I had. So it didn't make sense. I was being very successful. I was being very diligent. I was pouring myself into things. I was demonstrating my tremendous willpower and uh, the strength that I had in different areas, but it wasn't filling up my cup. So I wasn't getting that return. And this is something a lot of people that are successful in other areas of their life, this is a trap that we all fall into or we can all fall into. We start chasing after things. We start engaging in things that might mean something to somebody else, maybe society, maybe it means something to society. Maybe we're doing things that our parents want us to do, or we're engaging in things that our friends or our spouse or our family want wants us to engage in thinking that once we finally achieve that, it will fill up the cup and we, we won't have that tremendous amount of pain anymore. We won't have that void that, that seems to always be present in our life. But when we can align ourselves with things that actually are more meaningful to us, all of us have a unique purpose in our life. All of us have specific things that really provide that sense of meaning and joy in our life. And if we don't find what those things are, those individual things, those things that are personal to us, and we don't find ways to engage in those things and bring more of that activity into our life, then we're gonna constantly struggle, no matter how successful we are, no matter how much we pour out of ourselves, no matter how much we engage in the progress and the achievements that we see in our life, we'll always struggle with that void inside and that oh, that void will always create that pain that we're trying to escape from or avoid or numb or deal with or just cope with in these unhealthy ways. So if you struggle with addiction in your life and it doesn't make sense because you've seen tremendous successes on other areas of your life and you just can't reconcile why you can have so much strength of character and so much willpower in one area of your life but not have what it seems you need to overcome addiction, I suggest it's because you're looking in the wrong place and you're not looking at the source of pain that you have. So uh, identifying and addressing the source of tremendous pain that you have in your life is one place to start, but another thing that you need to do in order to find successful recovery and move beyond those behaviors and substances that have held you back is find that one thing that brings that true sense of meaning and purpose into your life. Find a way that you can engage in something that fills that cup. It doesn't have to be your vocation, it doesn't have to be your nine to five or your profession if you're an entrepreneur, uh, but it, it needs to be something that's invited into your life so that you can get that sense of fulfillment so you can fill that void and deal with that pain that you have inside that struggle that you have inside
If this is resonating with you, I'd love to see your comments. I'd love to hear your feedback, especially if you have a recovery story to share. If your recovery story involves you finding something that you're more passionate about, the thing that brings that meaning and purpose into your life, please share that in the comments. If you would like to know some things, some simple things that you can do, I've got a free five-day challenge that helps you go through some exercises uh, to find things where you can bring that, where you can bring a sense of joy, that natural sense of joy, that meaning and purpose into your life. Find some simple things that you can do that you don't have to change your job you don't have to move you don't have to find new people but th simple things that you can do to start to fill that void and help you deal with that lack of meaning and purpose in your life and if you want to take it a step further if you're ready to make some serious changes in your life if whether you're in recovery now or not then the online program that i've put together thriving in your recovery is a great place to start in that course because this sense of meaning and purpose is so foundational to a successful life and a successful recovery. We spend a lot of time helping people identify what they're most passionate about so they can engage in things that will bring that sense of meaning and purpose into your life. If you're interested in either of those, you can find uh, some information below in the description. But thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for sharing your comments. If you're not a part of our online community yet, then please join A Life Unchained. You can find us on Facebook and subscribe to videos right here so you can catch some more ideas and more tips and tricks and things that will help you in your life and in your recovery. Thanks for checking out the video.